where are you? I told you, we'll be there soon. The Baka doesn't like to be kept waiting. I'll get the information he needs. Now stop calling me. Who are you talking to? You don't give a damn what you think, Fiona. It's my life. I live it as I see fit. You won't be living much longer if you don't get Spencer to the bank to open that safe deposit box. I heard what you're saying. Now hear me. I'm happy to be in America and I have every intention of staying. Deal with it. Sorry, my sister. Oh, I didn't realize you were catching so much flack from your family for leaving Ireland. Yeah, Fiona's favorite pastime is poking her nose in other people's business. Judging me makes her feel better about her miserable marriage and the man she settled for. Imagine how your sister would feel if she knew you were risking your life for me. No, oh, trust me. If she saw your handsome face, she'd be knocking me down to risk her own life. Well, Fiona's potential reaction aside, it's, it's not too late for you to back out, Siobhan. I was kind of hoping that you would. I'm sure you are. That way you won't have to admit that I came up with a better plan than you ever could on your own. You know how dangerous these people are. Oh, if I didn't figure it out the first two times that they tried to kill me, I finally sunk in when I got kidnapped. Yeah. It was dangerous for me. It's dangerous for you, too. But the difference is, it's my job to stop the Balkan. Well, it's my hobby to see that you don't die. What's it going to take for you to finally admit that you need me? <sighs> okay, lobby's clear, hallways are good. You sure I can't talk you into staying here? Doing what? proves what I was saying all along. It's a good plan. I mean, if you thought she was me, so will anyone else. Okay, look, we, uh, we're only gonna have one shot at this, so do you, do you know what you're supposed to do? Can we go over it again? Why don't you do the honors? All right. Okay, so you're gonna go into the bank at 64th and Park, carrying your coat over your arm. We'll meet you inside, we'll give you an envelope, you put your coat on and Siobhan's beret, you head out the doors, go two blocks south, wait at a coffee stand in the alley until the Balkans men approach you, and then you meet us back here at the hotel. Sounds like a spy movie. L listen, you, you do understand that there are some potential risks here. Are you sure you can handle it? That depends. When do I get my money? hundred bucks now. Another hundred when it's done. Easiest money I ever made. Mm, okay, I really hope this works. It will. Trust me. Now don't start celebrating too soon. We all still have to make it back to the hotel. Give me the end of love and there won't be any trouble. You want it? Take it. I'm just trying to get a cup of coffee. Oh, I'm dying to see what Ronan had in that box. Pretty important for it to make a man like Bulk so nervous. So, what happened? I walked around the corner wearing this, like you told me to. A man came up, said if I gave him the envelope, there wouldn't be any trouble. I handed it over and he left it to this friend. That's it? Yeah, I know. Kind of a letdown. In movies, there's always some kind of shootout or chase scene. Yeah, well, I'll be glad it didn't come to that. I'll be glad when I get the rest of my money. Oh, right, yeah. Um, I have it for you. Listen, and don't, uh... Forget this ever happened? Right, yes. Don't worry about it. Your coat. Thank you. Keep 
about done being a Doubt and Thomas? It all worked out exactly the way it was supposed to. That's what worries me. The Vulcan it is way too easy. You know what this is, don't you? Envy. You can't stand the fact that the plan I came up with worked out no, so well. No, it just doesn't make sense. Was that a polite way of saying that you thought he was too dumb to pull it off? No, you're not dumb, but neither is the Balkan. So why did he send all of his men after the envelope, you know? I mean, wh why not leave someone behind to trail me in case it was a setup? Well, maybe the Balkan's men screwed up. Or maybe he's not as smart as you give him credit for. Either way, we have the envelope now. How long are you planning to stand there and stare at it? Don't you want to know what's inside? Okay. All right, Ronan. Let's see what you were hiding. Who's that? It's the Balkan's son, Alexander Janacek. So Interpol sent you on a treasure hunt, and this is all you have to show for it? A few photographs? Yeah, but some of these are surveillance photographs, they think. Well, so Ronan was keeping tabs on the Balkan's son. Big deal. It sounds like smart business to me. You never know when you might need leverage. Look at who Alexander's with. Look at this one. So, why would Ronan be hiding these photographs from the Balkan? Well, maybe... Maybe the Balkan thought that... Brenda was connected to his son's death. Well, how was Brenda connected? 